Dr. CV. Suresh Babu's. Virtual Classroom. Presence. Database Management Systems. Simplified Series. Introduction to Relational Algebra. We know that the database management system use query language to allow users to query the database tables for accessing the data stored in the database. Relational Algebra provides a theoretical foundation for relational databases and SQL. It is a procedural query language which takes an input as a relation which is a table from where data has to be processed and output which is also a relation that is a, it is a temporary table holding the data which is expected output for a given the primary operations that we can perform using relational algebra are one unary relational operations under that we have select project and rename the second one is relational algebra operations from set theory and under that we have union intersection difference and cartesian product and the final one binary relational operations under that we have join and div selection the select operation is denoted by sigma symbol and it is used for selecting a subset of the tuples according to a given selection condition they accept relations as their input and produce relations as their output let's see with an example the sports teacher would like to extract the list of students who play cricket from the student table the selection operation can be implemented using SQL command select f name from student that sports is equal to cricket and the output will have all the student names who play cricket project project operator is denoted by pi symbol and it is used to select desired column that is attributes from a table that is relation project operator in relational algebra is similar to the select statement in the sql let's see with an example project project operator is denoted by pi symbol and it is used to select desired column that is attributes from a table that is relation project operator in relational algebra is similar to the select statement in the sql rename the rename operator is denoted by the lower case letter rho it is used to rename the output table that is relation let's see with an example suppose the class teacher decided to rename the attribute name f name to name the renaming operations can be used and it can be implemented in sql command like alter table student change your name character 30 the output table will have name as changed attribute union union operator is denoted by union symbol it includes all tuples that are in table r1 and in r2 both must have same columns and if you want to select all the tuples that's rows from these relation then 
we can apply the union operator on these relations. Let's see with an example. There are two tables for a particular class, section A and section B. The teacher needs a combined list of both the classes. The union operation can be implemented using SQL commands. Select student ID, F name, subject, marks from section A, union, select student ID, F name, subject, marks from section B. And the output will include all the tuples that are in both tables section A and section B and it also eliminates duplicates tuples. Intersection Intersection operator is denoted by the intersection symbol. The two relations R1 and R2 both must have the same column and if you want to select all these tuples that rows that are present in both the relations then in that case we can apply the intersection operation on these two relations. Let's see with an example. There are two sections in 12 standard, say science and commerce, with respective tables section A and section B. Both are type compatible. The sports teacher would like to take a student list of science group that is section A who are playing the sports which are also played by the common students that is section B. Intersect the operations can be implemented using SQL commands. Select student ID, F name, sports from section A. Intersect select student ID, F name, sports from section B and the output will have all the records that are present in section A and section B table. Difference Difference operator is denoted by minus symbol. The result of the set difference operation is rows which are present in relation R1 but are not in the relation R2. Let's see with an example. Okay, let's see with an example. Difference. Let's take uh, an example. There are two sections in 12 standard, say science and commerce group. With respect to tables, uh, student 1 and student 2, two namely. Uh, remember, both uh, should be uh, type compatible. And let's see the scenario. The sports teacher would like to take a student list of science group, that's from student 1, who are playing the sports which are not played by the common students, that's student 2 today. Let's see how it has been implemented in SQL. The difference operations can be implemented using SQL command. Select student ID, first name, sports from student 1, that's a science group minus select student id first name sports from student 2 that's on comma scope and the output will have all the records that are present in student 1 but not in the student 2 table cartesian product cartesian product operator is denoted by x symbol this is an operation used to merge columns from two relations on applying Cartesian product on two relations, that is on two sets of tuples, it will take every tuple one by one from the relation R1 and will pair it up with all the tuples in the relation R2. It is also called cross product or cross join. Let's see with an example.
there are two tables student and schedule the teacher wants a detailed report of students with their timetable this can be implemented in sql using cross join select staff from student cross join schedule the output of uh, this table shows all rows from relation students and schedule join operator is denoted by theta symbol a join operation pass two tuples from different relation if and only if a given join condition is satisfied there are different types of join operations such as equi join natural join outer join join left outer join right outer join and full outer join <laughs>
summary. Activity. Assignment. Video online. Just before exam. Test yourself. Keywords. Further readings. For more tutorial videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.